It's finally time to take a look at a bootleg set from a series that I absolutely love. And also a series that I absolutely hate. It's one of TV's most classic families, The Simpsons. Simpsons. <laughs> Whether you're still a fan of the later Simpsons or not, I think we can all agree that the Simpsons have overtaken them. The Simpsons look pretty similar to the Simpsons, but they are different because of, um... Yeah. Simpson. Why does it just say Simpson? Like, is that where the character should be? Like... Together, they all are Simpson. One family is very happy. So I do absolutely love this one family is very happy tagline that they've stuck on here a few times. And if we go by the stolen Simpsons artwork, then uh, yeah, the Simpsons and Sins look pretty happy. But the faces on the actual figures, um, I don't know if I would equate that with anything even resembling joy. The back of the Simpsons and Sins repeats the one family is very happy tagline once again with some more stolen Simpsons assets. Ooh, unlicensed figures. <sighs> yeah, I don't do a great Homer. These were made in China and with a stupid knockoff name like the Simpsons and Sins, that should be a shock to no one. And this is one of those bootleg names you just kind of stare at and you're like, is this just a mistake somehow? Like, did they accidentally add another NS at the end of Simpsons when they copied the logo? Or did they really think this was worth doing in some kind of attempt to fool anyone? I mean, really, why bother calling it the Simpsons and Sons? Especially when you just put Simpson right beside it anyway. One family has looked into the face of death. Oh yeah, and don't forget, collect all the dolls! Yeah, I can't wait to collect the whole Simpsons and Sons line. Oh wait, I think I already did it. And I'll tell you, one dumb internet reviewer is very happy that he didn't pay $40 for these. In fact, he didn't pay anything as they were a gift from Andrew Dickman. So here they are, released from their tomb after many years, America's most reviled family, the Simpsons and Sons. And I know some of you might think you've seen more accurate depictions of the Simpsons in toy form before, but you would be wrong. This is exactly how I remember them. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky, the Simpsons and Sons. There's really only one quote that comes to mind when looking at that absolutely terrified look on the face of Homer. He has seen shit that'll turn you white! By the way, when I remember that The Simpsons is old enough to have had parody Simpsons ghosts in an episode of the real Ghostbusters, I just get kind of sad. But hey, at least these Simpsons and Sons figures are like the perfect representation of those knockoff Simpsons ghosts. So the Simpsons and Sons all have that useless bonus of a chest light on them. They've all got a switch on the back to activate this completely stupid feature. Which I guess, sadly, isn't actually working on any of these figures anymore, which is a clue to me that these are all fairly old. Did anyone making any of these stupid knockoffs ever really think that, yeah, what's really gonna sell these piles of crap is a chest light? So if you're really sad for some reason that the chest lights on the Simpsons and Sons don't work anymore, here, here you go. This is what it would look like. Stunning, isn't it? So it wasn't until I started editing this video that I noticed that I had actually got a slight flicker of Homer's chest light. So I retested them and yeah, Homer's light will flicker a little, Marge gives the slightest bit of light, and this little light of Lisa's, I got it to really shine. So that's... Neat, I guess, or it's just extra terrifying, and the light is extremely temperamental about how well it'll work. 
So I think Bart, Lisa, and Maggie look the worst out of the Simpsons and Sins, and that's largely due to the fact they added these stupid rings around their eyes. Hey Bart, why don't you cut out the bug eye thing? You're kind of creeping me out. I mean, yeah, Bart has creepy bug eyes on this figure regardless of these rings, but this just accentuates them, really. And the chipped paint on his left eye really just adds to the old aesthetic that Bort has going here. Wow, Lisa is a goblin. She is absolutely disgusting. Brains. Brains. Uh, 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 brains! That was a Simpsons reference. I get it. Though in Simpsons and Sons Homer's case, it's really not a joke. His head is empty. There's no brains in there, and... I don't know why there's a bump on the top of his head. Um, was that gonna be like this little string of hair on the top of his head at one point? And they're like, oh, we can't actually pull that off. Let's just put a bump on there. I don't know. But yeah, awful. Homer also hasn't been working out as his triceps have sunken right into his arms. Pathetic. So this is one of those crap sets where they haven't really bothered to finish the figures from behind because by then it's too late, you've already bought them. Homer and Marge are the worst for this since Homer's pretty hollow and Marge is unpainted on the back. I don't know why it wasn't just green plastic they used for Marge's torso, guess they couldn't find any you know, slim supply in China, so it's just white. And you can see that they sprayed the entire front half of her torso green, then re-sprayed over part of it yellow. And from a side view, that's absolutely wonderful looking. Then again, these Simpsons and Sins figures look stunning from all angles. It's kind of amazing they even bothered to paint Marge's necklace, as a lot of these details are missing on here. I guess they did also paint Lisa's necklace red, though of course hers is supposed to be white, not red, and it just kind of looks like more of a collar, but that is fitting for this ghoul. But I guess they weren't willing to paint the top half of Lisa's chest yellow like they were Marge's, because it was more important in Marge's case, I guess. That's no son. That's the lazy back of a Simpsons bootleg figure. So yeah, they just decided to be completely lazy about the back of Lisa and Maggie's heads and just round it off instead of completing their hair on the back, which just makes it look like they are completely bald there. Baldness is hereditary. It is. Ah! So while they did go all around Bart's head with his hair spikes, they just left the middle of it completely flat. Aim for the flat top! So yeah, the top of Bart's head just kind of looks like a Reese peanut butter cup. They didn't bother painting Bart's socks in, so it just looks like his ankles are extremely swollen. So, articulation, um... They have some. It's wonderful. These figures have head articulation, very stiff looking arm articulation, and their legs pivot. Though in Homer and Marge's case, it's just their ankles pivot. And of course, in useless Maggie's case, she has no leg articulation. Wow, Homer, I think you should probably brush your teeth and also get the fact that they just extend to the back of your mouth checked out. It's like the inside of his mouth is a sliced up rotten orange. I'm very sick. I should probably get this checked out. Or that lump on top of my head checked out. Or the fact I don't have a back of my head checked out. Whoa! Oh! Don't have a cowabunga, man. Uh, I didn't do it. I suppose you could say it's a real stylish man bun that Homer's got going on. These shammy Simpsons are absolutely abysmal. The unfinished back figures are some of the slimiest and laziest knockoffs out there. Now, the Simpsons and Sons here look like they've stared into the face of death from the front, but it's kind of an extra slap in the face when you find out completing the figures was even too much for these guys. Especially in hollowed out Homer's case, and I'd really love to know why he's got that lump on his empty head, and if that really was supposed to represent 
represent the couple of strands of hair he has up there, cause if that's the case, that's really sad. The eye rings give Bart, Lisa, and Maggie an extra terrifying look. These strung out Simpsons and Sins are straight from your nightmares. The paint is all crap and stupid Marge's hair is sticky. For one supposedly happy family, they sure look like they want to be put out of their misery. One. Adding an extra NS on the end of Simpsons is the most creative thing ever! Oh wait, no it's not, zero. Ah, the Simpsons and Sons will clean up here. One family is very mummified. Just about every decision on these figures is wrong and make a very bizarre looking version of these characters. When they weren't just being lazy, they added stupid things like the ring around the middle of the eyes of the children. I guess it would have made too much sense for the ring to actually go around the eye. Also, the lazy kid's hair really is something, but you'd better not lay a finger on my barter finger cup, head. 10. Some of these stupid bootleg names are a real mystery as to why they happen. Was it a mistake that rendered this being labeled Simpsons and Sins? I mean, they clearly just copied the Simpsons logo, so if it was a mistake, it's impressive they managed it. And if they did it on purpose, the question is, why? Why would an extra NS make any kind of difference, and why would anyone think that makes sense? One family is very confused. All the art is just stolen, of course, and I like that the art of The Simpsons doing the can-can is from the era of when Bart had a blue shirt on almost everything except the actual show. There are some variants of Simpsons and Sins, but they're just sets that make one one family very separated. There's one set of just the three kids, one of Marge, Bart, and Maggie, and one of the family, except Homer. Guess with even a hollow head and arms, Homer is just too much plastic for them. The paint is a bit different on some of these too, with the necklaces being left yellow and the kids not being given the eye rings, but they all have dilated pupils instead, so at least they're numbing the pain of their Happy family existence. Nine. Who needs the Simpsons when you have the Simpsons and Sins? Probably everyone. Zero. And the bootleg zones overall is nine! These are kind of so bad they're good figures. Just about everything on them is so stupid, it really makes it perfect that they're called the Simpsons and Sins. <laughs> Simpsons and Sons. Starring Simpson himself! Homer, Bart is missing. Oh! Midge, I do not miss Bart at all. But, oh! Cowabunga, Mom! I'm not missing anymore! <laughs> Bart, you're grounded! Eat my pants! Mom, Bart is bad! <laughs> Liza, you disappointed! Grounded is time! Understood it for the greater good. Lisa in trouble? I carambers! Why you Reese's peanut butter cup little? Towards Paladin Genie. Paladin Genie must help Homer with terrible family. Whoa! Your family is worst! Cannot grant wish! This was me, Homer. 
Last chance to fix family! Luckily, me homerer have been dead for many years. Bo! Adios, Dios! Dead, dead! Mm -hmm. Don't like Bork pointing out. Grounded. Ah, uh, you grounded, Bort. Bort going to kill Liza. <laughs> what have Bort done? Where are the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago.